Howdy, bankable bitches, and welcome back to another episode of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend with me, your host, and the reason your dad comes home late every night, Heidi Banks. This week, I've got an extra special guest. And I say that every week, but all of my sisters are extra special to me. This girl's got the biggest bat I've ever seen, Miss Regina LeRae. Welcome, Regina. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me here. Well, to start off, I just want you to let all of these people know, the few that may not know who you are, who you are, what you do, where you're from, a little bit about yourself. I am the reigning Miss Gay Missouri. Um, I started in female impersonation in 2009, and it was a terrible hot mess. <laughs> Uh, but you couldn't tell me anything. I was fierce, I was fabulous. I had black eyebrows that went from here all the way to my hairline, and I had a nice black chola outline of my lips. She was like Jordan Sparks when she came to audition for American Idol. Yes. <laughs> like not all the good stuff you see no, now. right, that's exactly <laughs> what it was. Um, and then I got into pageantry, and it just helped me improve myself really fast. Like it was one of those things where I just knew where I wanted to be and I wasn't there yet. And so being Miss Kansas City was my first title in 2012 and it just made me turn into what you see now, which is a, a filter queen, some might call it. <laughs> I don't need a filter that look this good. That blending is there, honey. <laughs> you know the story with Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. We're here to tell stories of, of love and loss and revenge. So how about you go into your story today, Regina? Well, currently I am married and been married for 10 years. Oh, yes she is. Hey. Um, but before that, I I was always a, a long-term relationship person, so my relationships were always at least a year, two years. They, they were always long, um, and it was good. Not always. <laughs> I say it was good, but sometimes they weren't good. On my half or the other person's side of it, uh, like the boyfriend I was dating for two years and then he decided he wanted to be straight and I didn't take <laughs> that well. Uh, so I did some things I'm not proud of with that one. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, it cost me a little bit of money, like she said on her first one. Don't Ooh, do things no, no, that will no. cost you Don't money. do things like that. What'd you break? What'd you do, Regina? Windows. Window. Don't break windows. Windows are expensive. They are. Look especially it up. Windows, okay. Get on Google and look it up. Especially, windows are expensive. Especially, I will tell you, so I thought I was being clever by breaking the smallest window on the car. The That's smallest the worst. window on the car, the, small, the most expensive window that on the car. That tiny little triangle on the back that doesn't open, doesn't do it's anything. It's like $500 for that little tiny window. Listen, do not touch that window. If you got to break a window, break the windshield. It's the cheapest. I mean, the biggest window is the cheapest. And it looks like, it just looks in the back. The installation's probably a bitch for that tiny little window. Right. So that's probably why it because costs it so much. Because it does nothing. Because when they replace car door windows, they can take the whole door frame off and put the window in and it's fine. But that little window, they gotta work around some stuff to get that window. And that, yeah, don't break that mm -hmm. one. <laughs> Just expect a bill and don't right. send it to expect me. Expect a bill, <laughs> start saving your coin, put them aside because you know you did something and you know they're gonna know it's you. So that one was, that was my first experience with love and I mean, you can't break somebody's heart like that. Just all of a sudden one day wake up and go, you know what, I decided I wanna be straight now and I got a girlfriend and her name is Tiffany. You have to go into a little more detail with this. So first of all, how did you and this this boy come to meet? Okay. Did you, was he like bisexual when you met him or like questioning his heterosexuality? <laughs> I don't even know how to, this so works. he was actually my first boyfriend. So we were young, so there was the issue. Um, we were young, he's the boyfriend that, the reason why I'm actually still here in Kansas City. Uh, so I met him when we very first moved here. And when we first met, I immediately was like, I'm gay. Look, I've already been through the closet. I'm not going through this again. I'm gay. I know we're in high school. This is our last year. I don't care. I already came out. I'm coming out now. I was a black man with blue hair that was down here in high school. <laughs> you knew I was gay when I walked in. That sounds right. And so <laughs> he was like, I need some time to process this. I've never had a gay friend. And then like a few days later, he's like, actually, I'm just like you. Actually. Well, I like to say I'm bi, and I said, listen, coming out bi is easier than coming out gay. You're gay. Let's be real. You're gay. And so... Not that we here at Crazy Ex-Girlfriend don't believe that bisexuality does not exist. Right. It exists. <laughs> but some... We, we all know. We won't get into we details. We won't get into the details of that, but... <laughs> we love everyone. <laughs> but he, but the, way I, the reason why I say he's not bi and he's gay 
is because he's a big old bottom and it took no preparation for him to just be a bottom. <laughs> just come out the closet and I'm gonna take a dick. Oh, when okay. He like, when he like, it's my first time, but slide down's ready to and go. You're like, like, wait. <laughs> you get, and you're like, wait, is this really your first time? Because that was easy. <laughs> I mean, that was not right. <laughs> that was easier than getting on the mamba. I'm mean, just saying. That was easy. That's a roller coaster for those of you who don't live in Kansas City. <laughs> so this boy, you were dating, he was so we were dating and he was he just came out to me like and then we started a relationship. And so then it just turned into like this real good like two year relationship. I stayed, my mom moved back to Florida. I stayed here in Kansas City for him. Um, and it was really good at first. And then just out of nowhere, two years later, he's like, I don't want to be gay anymore. And I have a girlfriend, her name is Tiffany, here she is. Oh, wait, what, oh, oh, wait. What? Oh. He showed up with her? He well, already we had the, one? We were at the skater rink, cause that's when skater rinks were big. And that's, so we were, we were there and that's when he's like, I'm gonna tell you about this while we're here. And then we have to ride home in the car together. Not him, her, and I, but just him and I. Whose car was it? It was his. Oh, okay. It was, it was, it was, uh, like he did you dirty, bitch. He, uh, yeah. he did you dirty. So I had no choice but to get in it. There was no been Uber. Mine, there was no Uber. <laughs> had it been mine, because we lived right over here on 35th and Broadway. It was the Ambassador Apartments. It was right across yeah. the street from when the Planet Cafe was there. The skater rink was in Shawnee Mission. Had it been my car? Bye. You would have been walking have, home. Have Tiffany take your ass home. Right. <laughs> but you know what? Tiffany didn't even drive. She was dropped off by her parents. Ooh. So, had it been my car, he would have walked his ass from Shawnee Mission to That's 35th rude. and Broadway. That's grimy. And I would have just acted like I was asleep when he called. Like, mm. Now set us up for the breaking of the windows. So the breaking of the window happened when, so he says this to me, and then he's like, so you're gonna have to move out. Oh. Wait, so we break up and I gotta move out? Oh, okay, well, I stayed here for my, fam for my family for you, and now I have to move out? Oh, okay, don't worry, I'll, I'll take you wherever you wanna go. I'll drop you off wherever you wanna go. Let's make it happen. Oh, so you wanna oh, take like me right somewhere? Now? Like now? Oh, like right now? Like, like right now, like, like <laughs> do I have time to pack my stuff? Yeah, go ahead and pack your stuff. Okay, whatever, but I didn't right have now. much. I just said close, so I packed my stuff and I stayed with one of my friends who lived downtown. Mm -hmm. And so we, you know, it was a clean break, allegedly. Um, and so then I was like, okay, I can deal with this, I'm fine. So then a few months later, he's contacting me and we're like meet up and we talk. And I'm thinking, okay, well, we're good. We're gonna get back together. I'm happy about this. So then we're meeting, we eat, we do some things. And then I was like, so is this the start of something new or what? Well, no, 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 um, I'm still dating Tiffany. Oh, bitch, hold on, what? You brought me here and you still have her? Oh, okay. I'll take something over, real. Right, and so we go, and we go back to the house, and we go back to, the, he takes me back downtown, and we're talking, so I'm like getting real in my feelings, because we had something to drink, and I'm like. Always happens. You just talked to me and brought my feelings back and made me feel like everything was good, and then you talk about Tiffany again. So I was like, okay, no. I got out of the car and he's like, get back in the car, let's talk. I'm like, no, 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 we're done talking. And so you can drop Tiffany for me, we're done talking. That's like, that's it. We're done talking. There's no talking, there's no mm. talking. And so then he just keeps going and keeps going. And I'm getting angrier and angrier and angrier. Well, you just have to meet her, you just have to hang out with her. You just have to, you know, let's all three do lunch. I ain't doing lunch with you, no. So we're sitting there, he just keeps going. And I'm like, look, just leave. Get out of here, go, just get here, just go. Push the pedal, go, get out. No, 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 I was like, Tim, I'm getting really upset. You need to go, you need to go right now. So I don't know what went into me next, but there was a brick next to the car. I picked it up, I smashed that window. I said, get the hell out of here now. And he was like, I can't believe you. Do you want the other one to be broken? No, so go. And he got in his little car, pushed the little pedal to the metal and went home. And I wish that was the last of that I heard from him, but no, he came back again. He brought an invoice. <laughs> he came back again with an invoice. Well, fuck Tiffany. Right, fuck Tiffany. Bitch named Tiffany looking like Zales. Right. Fuck her. What piece of advice can you offer? What's the moral of the story of what not to do? 
Uh, don't do anything that will cost you money, as was said in the mm. first episode. I am the prime example of that. Don't do anything that will cost you money. Um, and then also find somebody that's the complete opposite of you, like my husband, <laughs> who will put up with your crazy. Um, because, you know, it, you need a good balance. You yeah, you know. balance each other out. Sometimes he gets crazy. I think I've rubbed off on him, but just be crazy and let somebody else deal with your crazy. It's going to happen. It'll happen to you. It'll come to you no matter what. Ten years I've been with him and I've gone through some crazy things with him. Trust me. But that story would take like two hours to explain it. We don't have time for that. <laughs> we'll have her back for a two-part episode later next right. year. <laughs> well, I want to thank you on behalf of all of our viewers. Thank you for being here. This is your reigning Miss Gay Missouri America. Thank you so much for being here, Regina. Yes, thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you. So on behalf of all of us here at Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Mystical Dreams, and Hamburger Marys, thank you to Regina LeRae for coming out and spending her time with us and telling us that she's a crazy bitch. We already knew that, but thanks for the confirmation, Regina. <laughs> Next week, we have Mrs. Jones. There's nothing else, just Mrs. Jones. She's a doctor of music, and she is... Um, probably the craziest old lady that I know. She'll be here to dish all the dirt on the many Mr. Joneses that have been in existence, so you won't want to miss that. Click subscribe right down here or there or there. I don't know where they're gonna put it, but you push that button and you subscribe so you can come back and see me, Heidi Banks. <laughs> <laughs>